Hey fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mel and I'm here with another paleo video for you. I am coming at you from Zeki's Underground. And as you know, in our last update, which was 0 0.180, we got Hot Pot in the Underground. So if you look around down here now, you will see all of the Hot Pot tables. And that was in our A update. Now it is time for our June update. So the June update will be happening on Tuesday, June 25th. So I'm sure there will be some downtime. Normally it is around 7 to 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'm sure they'll give us some notice the day before. I am in Zeki's Underground because I'm standing on top of what we assume is going to be the future fishing spot. You can see that there is water underneath these wooden boards now at the central location down here in what everyone calls, including S6, calls this the black market. So I don't see this expansion that's coming up on Tuesday or this patch coming up on Tuesday June 25th, 2024, that has a lot of black market items mentioned in it. I don't see that as like an outdoor type thing, uh, like a big, you know, festival or something. I believe they're saying black market. I believe they mean Zeki's Underground. So when they say black market fishing, I think they mean that fishing is going to be happening right here in this little circular area in the very center of Zeki's black market. Now, this patch will be 0 0.181. <laughs> and we have a few things that are being said about it. Among the highlights, a new update for Paleo will add a cute blue lizard pet. Now, I'm not sure about the lizard pet, we did get a little bit of a video, just a tiny, tiny bit, where we could see kind of a rubbery looking um, small dragon lizard that breathed fire. I'm not sure if that is a pet, possibly. I felt like what was important in that picture was the flying pet that was next to what looked like a player to me. So if you watch that video closely, ignore Lizard Dragon in the front and look a little to the right of that and behind it and you will see what looks to be a player with a flying pet beside them. That's what I think is coming, but I could be wrong. I thought the fire-breathing lizard thing was a new, um, a new animal in the game. Because a long time ago, people were data mining and they were finding out that there was going to be some sort of an animal along the ocean. It could shoot something at you that might slow you down for a few steps or push you backwards or something. And that never materialized, but people still think it's coming. So I didn't know. I, I don't know that we would have a pet that breathes fire, but possibly... None of our other pets that we've had so far do anything. Um, they just follow you around. They don't have any actions of their own. So this would be a big departure if we suddenly had a pet that breathed fire. But we'll see. I still think the flying lizard dragon pet next to what looks like a player in the video is more interesting to me. But I could be wrong. I'm always wrong. <clears throat> okay. Metal building blocks are coming. Pirate theme furniture is coming. A black market fishing activity is coming. That's where I'm standing right now. Okay, so the Blooming Bounties update on June 25th introduces party buffs, a prize wheel, and the option to tour Tish's dream house. So these are things that uh, we have had hints about that they've been coming and we will know more about this next Tuesday. Um, okay, so on June 25th, there will be a new pet 
but we're not sure whether or not that's going to be a flying pet or whether that's going to be the pet that they showed that breathes fire. Not sure which one that will be. The building materials are going to be expanded to include metal rather than just the wood and the rock. Um, so that's interesting. We'll see if they have different shapes. The wood and the rock are identical shapes. So whether you build something from wood or you build something from stone, you have a large block, a small block, a pillar, a piece of flooring, um, you know, that kind of thing. So they all look the same. But um, maybe the metal ones will all look the same again, or maybe there'll be some different shapes. We don't know what will be coming with that. But interesting. I'm excited about it. That's for sure. Pirate themed furniture. So I'm very excited about that. Don't know who's selling the patterns. Don't know if it'll be Tish. Don't know if you have to earn the patterns. Don't know if you have to find them in a chopper pile. Oh, please, God, no. Anyway, <laughs> we will be getting pirate furniture. So whatever that is, I'm all for it and I'm ready for it and I want it right now. Thanks. So it seems like there will be at least two variants of this new pet type. That is what they are saying. Who knows? We'll find out next Tuesday. On June 25th, 24, we'll uh, for sure have metal building blocks. It'll have party buffs. It'll have black market prize wheel, black market fishing. Those are both going to be in Zeki's basement, I'm guessing. Pirate furniture and a chance to tour Tish's dream house. So those are all things that we have been told. I think that we'll get more news on Monday or Tuesday morning when it's closer. And then they also said that the premium shop will be bringing a new pet. But they are naming this expansion Blooming Bounties. So that doesn't make any sense. Blooming Bounties. None of these things bloom. So the building, metal building blocks, party buffs, black market stuff, pirate furniture, tour, uh, tour Tish's dream house, and a new pet. None of those things bloom. So there must be more coming that we don't know about and that they are not hinting about. So that that will explain why they are calling it blooming bounties. But in the meantime, all we can do is look at this little hint of water underneath these brown pieces of wood in the middle of the black market downstairs and wonder, you know, if this won't have something to do with it. I'm fairly sure that it will. I also gave a small thought to the fact that the way we ended our level five quest lines with Zeki, Rath, and Tish, if you have done those, spoiler, if you have not, those quest lines ended with Zeki saying, I know how to break the cartel. The cartel makes money on rare items. So what we must do is make sure nothing is rare. I will use a duplifier and I will make duplicates of every rare thing and I'll make thousands. And then Tish and Rath will help me distribute these things to everyone and we'll sell them at cheap prices and then the cartel won't be able to make money on them anymore because they won't be rare anymore and we will uh, hurt the cartels. We'll start to break them down. That's what they said, okay? That spoiler is the end of the level five quest lines that we did with Tish, Ruff, and Zeki. So that makes me wonder if our black market will get larger down here under Zeki's basement. Instead of three rugs, maybe he'll sell six rugs. Three works of art, uh, maybe he'll have 10. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe he'll have new toilets and bathtubs to match some of the furniture sets that don't have them yet. <laughs> we don't know for sure. Um, maybe there'll be some new plushy items coming up to sit on these empty pillows in these empty spots down here. But that's all going to be more that we find out on Tuesday, because until then, we don't know what the blooming bounties part of this patch that is 0 0.181 is all about. But we will see then. And of course, I will be doing a video. So of course, like and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I drop a video every single time and you'll be there to see it right away and you will know before anyone else knows <laughs> pretty much what's going on and when you can see it, and do it and make it and play with it and put it in your house and on your plot and, and catch it if it's fish or uh, get it if it's a pet. You know, so uh, just be ready for Tuesday by uh, liking, subscribing, ringing that bell, become a YouTube partner. It would help me an awful lot to someday just do this all the time. And I will see you in the next one.